Hey, Derek Sides here, Executive Director of the Barnabas Network. I'm going to take a moment today to show you a little bit of what we've done um, during and since this pandemic. Just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who's helped us through the years and built Barnabas up into what it is today because it's times like these that um, our services are really needed here in our community and you're making a, a huge difference in people's lives. And I just want to say a big thank you to our staff and show you some of the fine work that they do here, helping um, get families get back on their feet by just giving them a, simply a place to sit, a place to sleep, and a place to eat. So uh, come along and let me show you a little bit of what we've done to adapt our um, programs and how we serve our community. Since the pandemic has hit Greensboro, mm -hmm. we've changed a few things here at the Barnabas Network. For one thing, we're not allowing any clients to physically visit us here. What we're doing is virtual tour shopping. We allow them to shop on FaceTime, Duo, and a couple of the apps. But basically, this gets them a chance to pick out their furniture. Uh, our staff walks around with the tablet and shows them the furniture. They choose what they're like. We'll be doing that shortly. Hopefully, you'll get a chance to see that. Um, also, we, we're not going into anyone's houses right now. Anybody doing donations, we request that they put them on the front porch or in the garage or in the driveway. And basically that way we don't interact with them, you know, staying six feet apart, wearing our masks, washing our hands. And they're... <laughs> okay, so then I can talk to her talk to you and then you can sign for her. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, that is perfect. Great. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The sofa's first. Um, sofa's in the love seat. Let me show her everything that's in the collection and then she can choose, okay? Okay, okay. All right. So we just stopped Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer um, came to us via CODA. CODA is an uh, agency that assists hearing impaired um, clients. So um, I had Tabitha, who was the director of that program, to come along with me and she assisted in the shopping experience and it was great. Um, Jennifer was very happy. <laughs> she was ecstatic about the items and very thankful for the things that she received from us today. Yeah, I'm almost in tears. I feel overwhelmed. You know, I'm a single mom and I'm trying to save and so I'm so grateful that, you know, one of my friends and, you know, Tabitha referred me to this company and I was approved and the furniture, furniture that I have, I'm so overwhelmed, I'm excited, and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it definitely is seeing the impact that it makes on the lives of the families that we serve. Um, we have a lot of families that are in need and in somewhat desperate situations sometimes. And we, we meet that need, we provide that need. So I love it. Uh, the most rewarding part to me is seeing people happy that they finally got something. And that, you know, that we're doing good in people's lives, so. Working at Barnabas is, is you helping people out and you doing good things, good deeds for people. And I feel like I'm doing some good in the world, you know. Barnabas is a wonderful place to, for somebody to think of doing this for people because there's so many people out here in need. It's very humble. I can, I can honestly say that it's humble to see how much of an impact Barnabas does truly have on the community. We are a nonprofit furniture bank. It's a simple premise. We gather uh, furniture that people don't want and don't need. And we give it to families and neighbors who do want it and desperately need it. Those families are typically transitioning out of homelessness, fleeing abuse or violence, recovering from a natural disaster, or simply struggling to overcome severe poverty. Uh, it is an amazing experience to be a part of. Um, we're grateful for all the donors and supporters and volunteers and the hardworking staff um, who are helping change lives. It's been great to see how the staff has been so innovative and adaptive and it's really improved our program in many ways. It has allowed us to be more flexible. It's so rewarding to be able to see the difference that it makes. By providing a helping hand and giving our friends and neighbors a place to sit, a place to sleep, and a place to eat, um, it can be a game changer for them in their journey to self-sufficiency. So thank you to everyone who's made that possible. And